this section is going to be on the water system in the boat and the water tanks and how big they are and kind of where they're at and where the pumps are at and kind of pros and you know things to know about your water system so let's just kind of give you an overview of where the tanks are again one of larry's quick uh, boat drawings here um this is the bulkhead here okay and this is the L lounge here at the dinette, uh, or it's actually the lounge for the dinette. And this is the bed for the quarter berth here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this area, there's a water tank that's right here behind the silverware drawer. Silverware drawer is right here. So this is water. And this is the lower one right underneath the seat. And then over here, um, along this side of the hull, is another water tank and these are plumbed together and the fill is right here on you know the back deck so water in here mm -hmm. okay and um, the pump you know the water that you fill in here automatically with a big hose is plumbed into this one so these two tanks actually function as, as one, one tank mm -hmm. okay um, the other water tank so here you've got um, uh, a fuel tank uh, in this view here's the bed and then it's got a shelf and the hull is just crudely like this. There's a shelf in here. There's a fuel tank underneath here, underneath this bed, mm -hmm. kind of like right here. And there's a water tank right above it. So this is fuel and this is water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and they each have their own vent out the side of the boat. And this one vents out the side. When you're filling it up, you kind of hear them gurgling out. Um, this water fill here is right here on the back corner. There's water in here. And um, they're both horizontal water fills. Mm -hmm. And you just take the hose and kind of stuff it in there and it'll drop in just fine. Um, the water pumps, um, you know, on the back deck here, you've got two hatches, smaller one, bigger hatch. And right here are the two water pumps. Mm -hmm. And we put them both on the same side of the boat so that, you know, you can, it's easy to plumb it because the water is going to basically come out of here across and into one of these pumps and the other one comes across and I'm just going to go out here and comes into that pump. Mm -hmm. And they're labeled port water pump, starboard mm -hmm. water pump. And then from that point, the water comes uh, along the side and comes up into all the different, you know, heads and goes all over the boat basically. Mm -hmm. Um, but that just gives you an idea of where the water's at. Um, let's see here. So this boat holds 100 gallons. And uh, as I remember, the com combination of these two is about 40 gallons. And this side is 60 gallons, okay, of water, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, if you're in an area where you're not sure about the water, it's not a bad idea to put a little bit of um, uh, Clorox in there. Just, uh, you know, like a teaspoon or two. Just mm -hmm. a little bit of Clorox will kill, kill quite a bit. Um, some people, if they're up in Canada and stuff, they'll filter the water before they put it in. Mm -hmm. and some of the water that doesn't look perfect, it's got tannins in it, mm -hmm. um, still works just fine. It, mm -hmm. It's just a little tiny bit brown and, and some people can't take that. But honestly, it works just fine. Not going to get sick. Never, never, it, you know. Then there's other areas where it might smell funny, and mm -hmm. yeah, you wouldn't want to use that. Yeah. And and you kind of hope to not put it in your boat. Um, mm -hmm. If you do, it's not the end of the world. You can put a little chlorine with it. And if you're unsure about the water, put a little chlorine in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Um, Wintertime, uh, you've got to put some heat in here in this compartment and keep these both sides. You really should keep one of those, you know, kind of West Marine metal, you know, kind of about the size of a plate type heater and they're all about 120 watts and keep some heat in there and uh, if it's going to be really cold the grills on the side of the engine room um, if this is the hull side with the grill mm -hmm. there's a door aid piece here on the in inside and we saw that plastic mm -hmm. piece there mm -hmm. if you set a piece of wood on top of that kind of limit the airflow mm -hmm. it, the heat will stay in a lot better um, that's more of a northwest thing but um, you got to remember to take this would cover off in the spring when you're not using the boat or you'll end up with not a lot of airflow in, in your engine room won't be quite correct. Um, uh, interestingly, the pumps are really reliable. If they happen to get not working uh, and they have power, then the pressure switch in there, there's a little diaphragm 
that has a, a little arm and a little switch that's connected to it and they'll get stuck occasionally. If you take a hammer, mm -hmm. a small hammer and and the wood end of it and mm -hmm. just tap it, yep. it'll work again. Okay. Almost every time. It's very Are interesting. Are they magnetic pumps they're called? Uh, they're variable speed, variable volume, sure flow pumps sure flow. On, a, mm -hmm. on a 40. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very good pumps. Um, when you're using the water system, you got to think about, well, you know, I've got 100 gallons and, you know, some gals with long hair will use a lot of water. You gotta, hey, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got to warn them that, um, you know, try to use a boat shower where you, you get wet and, uh, and then lather up and then rinse off mm -hmm. um, to save your water. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing about the water system is, you know, you've got toilets in two locations here. And the boat is set up so that you can run the toilets on fresh water or salt water. Up here in the northwest where the water's cooler... Um, most people run them on salt water, at least when they're um, cruising with the boat. Um, down in Florida, where the water is warmer and it's more filled with bacteria, they tend to run them on fresh water because just a little bit of that water and the bacteria dies, it smells. You're, are you kind of a freshwater? I am definitely a freshwater head girl. <laughs> okay. Because I have seen what it smells like if you don't. Yeah. So um we actually have switching here i think we talked about it yesterday back here in the engine room behind the engine there's a switching yeah. where you can turn it on and one off one way or the other and it's two things you have to do there's a rotary y valve there that's there's a big label that says how to use it but you have to rotate the y valve and then there's a shut off that you have to open to let the pressurized fresh water run into the toilets mm -hmm. the last thing you want is to have any salt water come back into your freshwater system because if you drink salt water you'll get sick it's mm -hmm. you know you're not going to die usually but you'll get diarrhea like whoa not a good day mm -hmm. um montezuma's revenge or something mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so um uh you know my boat i typically use uh um, salt water when i'm cruising and when i get back to the dock i switch it back to fresh water and run fresh water through or i'll just take the shower wand and use the shower wand in the toilet to fill it back up again so that it's sitting with fresh water in it and it doesn't smell mm -hmm. Okay, starboard water goes in there, and uh, port water fill is right here, okay? Okay. Remember to switch from port to starboard tank is that switch at the dash. When it's in the middle, it's off. When it's pushed to the right, it's pulling out of the starboard tank. When mm -hmm. it's pushed to the left, it's pulling out of the port tank. Um, we did have an owner that had his water tank bubble up to the point where it was pushing the bed up. And what had happened was that um, he had plugged his vent when they when the boat was detailed and and the air couldn't you know the water couldn't get out and then um, in combination with that we had a water pump right back here mm -hmm. where um, uh, the one way valve in it also failed mm. so what was happening is when the one pump was on it was pressurizing back through the other pump and pushing all the water from the starboard tank into the port tank and the water couldn't go anywhere because yeah, the vent was plugged with the mm -hmm. buffing compound stuff. So combination to figure that one out. Well. Unusual, but possible. Okay.